students wishing you a warm good afternoon it's 12 pm now so i can wish you very warm good afternoon and also very warm half day half day is almost completed you know one day is 24 hours is it one day is 24 hours now it's 12 pm means yes one by two of day is finished is it so now you have one by two of the day is it half day is completed another half is the so wishing you a very warm half day is it right then these type of representation is known as yes very good fraction is it fraction you already studied about fraction different types of fraction is it also addition subtraction today we are going to study about some specific fractions some specific the word specific means selected fraction that is fractions with denominator 10 100 and 1000 did you ever hear about these type of fractions yes very good you already studied in your fifth standard is it these type of fractions are called yes come on yes these types of fractions fractions with denominator 10 denominator 100 denominator 1000 etc is it the uh, powers of 10 that means 10 10 into 10 10 into 10 into 10 is it 10 into 10 is 100 it's 10 into 10 into 10 is it so these type of fractions are generally called the term yes very good decimals is it so our today's chapter today's portion is decimals as i said decimals are the fractions with denominators 10 100 and 1000 okay what other features you know about decimals can you explain any one what other features you know about decimals simply we can uh, define as fractions fractions with denominator as it fractions in the form in the form simply fractions in the form 1 by 10 1 by 100 yes 1 by 1000 is known as decimals as it that is 1 out of 10 1 out of 100 1 out of 1000 is it students then how can we represent without this denominator that is how can we represent 1 out of 10 without the denominator 10 yes we can place decimal point according to the number of zeros is it according to the number of zeros here we have one zero so you should place this small point after one digit that is after this one here we have only one digit and we can write it as 0.1 is it so we should count from the right side that is from ones place and according to the number of zeros you should move Yes the number of places and put the decimal point here we have two zeros so start from the right side one then two zeros so we should move two places two so here we have no digits so we should put yes zero so we can write it as 0.01 and this will be very good 0.001 as it we have only one digit we should move three places as here three zeros so 1 2 and 3 got it so these all are we studied in our previous classes also you studied the place value chart as it place value chart as we know the place value as ones 
then ones place after that yes tens is it tens at tens place then we got then hundreds you know about the place value hundreds after that yes thousands it's gone is it then here we represented the place value of a counting number is it how can we represent the place value of a decimal number did you remember the place values of decimal numbers here we have suppose 4 8 2 1 so ones place is 1 tens place is 2 means 2 into 10 20 is the value hundreds place 8 means 800 is the value in the same way 2 by 10 means 2 out of 10 as it 2 out of 10 we can write it as 0.2 as it and it is in the place of place of yes tens is it tens we can represent it as tens place tens place that is 1 by 10 means tens place did you know what will be the place values 1 by 100 yes hundreds place hundreds place 1 by 100 means hundreds place now can you remember these words yes of course for a number 4821 point 8 2 1 can we read it as 821 never we read it as 8 2 as it after the decimal we should read digit wise as it 8 2 so simply we can write it as here it represent yes ones place as it then 2 is represented as 2 is in the position yes tens place is it two is in tens place is it then eight is a eight is a yes hundreds place eight is a hundreds place and at last four is a four is a yes thousands place thousands place so the place value chart of counting number ones tens hundreds thousands got it then we should mark the decimal point got it decimal point after that the first digit first digit is in 1 by tens position 1 by tens position we can write it as tens place tens place got it tens place and the second one is second one two two is in which position yes one by hundreds position one by hundreds we can write it as hundreds 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 position hundreds one by hundreds so hundreds tens t e n t h s tens hundreds so you can simply write the one as 1 by thousands it is thousands thousands got it students so you know the place value of a counting number ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands etc in the same way place value of a decimal number after the decimal to the right side the value is decreasing is it here we get one from 10 here one from 100 so the quantity will be yes decreased is it so here value is decreasing and the place values are 1 by 10 that is tens 1 by 100 hundreds 1 by 1000 thousands as it students i think you all clear about the concepts you can now remember the concepts which you already learned in your previous class is it 
Then students, here it is a by 10. Is it a by 10? So we can represent it as 0 0.8. Is it 0 0.8? 2 is in 100's position. So 0 0.02. Is it 0 0.02? Then 1 is in 1000's position. So we can write it as 0 0.001. Is it 0 0.001? These three decimals join together. We get 0 0.821. Is it? So decimals are the fractions with denominator 10, 100, and 1000. Is it? Also the place values are tens, hundreds, and thousands. So students, these are the basic concepts regarding decimals. Now, can you say where we use these decimals? Yes, in our daily life, we use the concept decimals in a lot of situations. Is it in a lot of situations? Measuring weights. Is it measuring weights? You know, usually we are measuring weights in which unit? In which unit we are measuring weights? Yes, of course. In kilogram. Is it? Kilogram. So, 40.1. What this indicates? The point 1. Can you say 49, 40 means kilogram? 40 kilogram and point 1 means? Point 1 means? 100 gram. You know that? 100 gram. How did this 100 came here? You know, 1000 gram is 1 kilogram. Is it? 1000 gram is 1 kilogram. Here, point 1 means point 1, 0, 0. So, 100 gram. Out of 1000 gram. Here we take only 100 gram out of 1000. So we can represent it as 0 0.100. So actually this means 40 kilogram and 100 gram. You already studied to convert units. That is kilogram to gram. Gram to kilogram. You know gram to kilogram. 1000 gram is kilogram. So, to convert gram to kilogram, we should take out of 1000. That means, process is division, is it? And simply, you can say that kilogram to gram, that is, higher unit to smaller unit, it's multiplication. So, the weight we represent in kilogram. So, convert gram to kilogram. We get point 0.1, point 0.1. So, by joining together, we can write it as 40.1, 40.1, yes, kilogram, not gram. So, when you have decimal numbers, that means it's a combined form of greater and smaller quantity, is it? Another example is representation of rupees and paisa. 20 rupees, 50 paisa. You know, here smaller is, yes, paisa. Rupees is higher quantity. And the conversion, 100 paisa is equal to 1 rupees. Is it right? Yes. Then 100 paisa is 1 rupees. So, 50 paisa means 50 out of 100. Point five zero rupees. Is it? Point five zero rupees. Combining together 20 point five zero rupees. Is it clear? So, the same way we can convert meter and centimeter. Milliliter, liter, is it? So students, decimals are very much related to our daily life. So this is very important topic. To convert units in between, we need to know about decimals. 
so students thorough with the topic we will see at the dcs term to clear your doubts thank you